There is this one thing that Nintendo absolutely doesn't want to happen in Super Mario Maker 2. See, the whole level ecosystem is built upon trust. It is built upon the trust that every stage that is online can be beaten, since the creator of the stage was able to beat it too. Nintendo really doesn't want anyone to upload a level that is truly 100% absolutely no way to ever beat it impossible. Naturally, tons of people, myself included, immediately started to try to come up with a truly impossible level as soon as Mario Maker 2 got released. We already knew how to upload a 100% no way to beat it level in Super Mario Maker 1, so I assumed that uploading an impossible stage in Mario Maker 2 can't be that hard. I've never been that wrong. Wow, Nintendo really did their homework and fixed tons of potential exploits in the sequel. Nonetheless, they may have missed a small thing or two, which still at least gives us a chance to maybe upload a stage that can't be beaten. So today we're going to investigate this question. We'll discuss several different ideas on how an impossible level might be possible and we will finally answer the eternal question, whether it is truly possible to upload a truly impossible level in Super Mario Maker 2. So you're ready? Let's do this! Okay, so before we take a look at different ideas on how to upload an impossible level in Mario Maker 2, let's first quickly recap how we did it in the first Mario Maker. The general idea on how to get such a stage online is the following. We have to find the difference between playing a level to upload it and playing a stage once it is uploaded. The best way to do this in the first game was to just delete our save file and to set Mario Maker back to version 1.0. In the very first version of the game, many glitches existed that Nintendo wrongfully patched as time moved on. The trick is the following, if we beat the stage once in order to upload it, while in version 1.0, then the stage is still marked as cleared as soon as we update the game. This makes it possible to beat a stage that uses a glitch that later got patched. And as soon as the glitch is patched, the stage is no longer beatable. That's an actually surprisingly simple trick that easily allowed us to upload truly impossible levels in the first game. And this is also the first thing I tried when I got my hands onto Mario Maker 2. So I basically prepared a couple of different stages that were only beatable because of some weird glitches. I clear checked those levels and waited for 1.1 to roll around to finally upload the levels, which because of the patch should now have turned impossible. Basically the same trick as before. Here we used a super simple Magic Koopa glitch to create a not so impossible stage. For whatever reason, Magic Koopas were able to transform spike blocks in a 3D world style when Whenever they shot one of them with one of their evil PlayStation button missiles. The block stayed visible, but it also became possible to suddenly walk through it. I assumed that once Nintendo patched this glitch out, this stage turns unbeatable. But that's not what happened, because the level just stayed in version 1.0. It's just no longer possible to recreate the glitch in a new stage, but the glitch still exists in older levels and in our loving memories, of course. Levels in Mario Maker 2 no longer update when the game updates. They stay on the old version of the game. What this means is that this stage here, for example, stays possible even though they patch the glitch. So, generally speaking, Nintendo is surprisingly Handling this issue in the correct way here, since leaving old levels on the old game version ensures that no stage breaks as soon as a patch hits, which is a really, really good idea. But sadly, it also means that we can't simply exploit old glitches anymore to upload a truly impossible level. As far as I can tell, absolutely all glitches and exploits that got patched got patched locally. Locally, meaning that only new levels can't reproduce the glitch, while old ones are still allowed to weirdly glitch out as much as they want to. So this approach sadly does not work. Does that mean that it is impossible to upload an impossible level in Super Mario Maker 2? Well, not necessarily. See, the thing is Nintendo changed tons of things with the 1.1 patch. All that we have to do is to once again go back in time and to try to find a single thing that changed on a global level and therefore allows us to cheat their system once again. And this is where stuff gets a bit complicated because as it turns out, um, it isn't that easy to get Mario Maker back to version 1.0 anymore. So I deleted all my local Mario Maker 1 saves and put in the game cartridge while my Switch was set to flight mode to ensure that it can't connect to the wonderful World Wide Web. And this is the message the Switch gave me. 
it simply refused to start the game. The problem is the following. As soon as Mario Maker was once installed on a Switch, the Switch remembers that the game should be at a certain version and absolutely refuses to boot it up until the update is completed. If you put the game into a Switch that never played Mario Maker before, however, then our Switch gracefully allows us to boot up the 1.0 version because it hasn't gotten the information that there is an update out yet. Alright, so what does that mean? Well, it means that we have exactly two options to get back to Mario Maker version 1.0. We can either buy a brand new Switch every time we want to travel back, or we do a factory reset of our current Switch. So one of those options is a lot more expensive than the other one, but the other one means that we have to delete all data, all games, all save files, pretty much everything on our console. Hooray! So. I really, really wanted to upload a truly impossible level in Mario Maker 2, but those two options just aren't really options, are they? I, I can't just go out and buy five switches, neither can I delete all my games and save files. So sadly, we can't investigate if there is a way to build a truly impossible level using old versions. Sorry for that. No, I'm obviously kidding. I did the factory reset and we're back to version 1.0. What a wonderful Mario Maker it was back in the day. Icicles are suddenly global ground again. All the innocent glitches work again. Even the 16 block rule still applies. Beautiful. So the first thing I tried was to build a stage using the fact that icicles are global ground in 1.0, which changed in 1.1. So I have some good news here and some bad news. The bad news are the following. Nope, Nintendo didn't mess this up. Stages that were made in 1.0 but uploaded in 1.1 still have icicles as global ground, which is a real pity because I would have loved it if we were able to get them with the icicles, but that's how the game works. So here's the good news. Stages that were made in 1.0 but uploaded in 1.1 still have icicles as global ground. That's actually huge because it means that it is still possible to upload levels using the 1.0 physics. All that we have to do is to factory reset our switch every time we want to build a stage alongside with a physical 1.0 Super Mario Maker 2 copy. So factory resetting is obviously not an option for most but the most dedicated ladies and gentlemen among you. But thanks to the cloud saves, it is actually not that bad. I mean, it takes a couple of hours and we have to re-download all our games alongside with all our save files, but at least it allows us to still upload Super Mario Maker 2 stages using 1.0 when the game was still feature complete. Hooray! Also, um, I, I really want to take a second here to congratulate Nintendo on their phenomenal community and update management with Super Mario Maker 2 so far. It's always a great wink that the community management is working flawlessly when the most hardcore players of your game start to factory reset their whole console just so that they still have access to features that got cut for no reason. Honestly, great job Nintendo. Anyway, so icicles aren't the answer. As a matter of fact, all changes that were made to items and the level physics don't help us at all. All those changes only apply locally. There is no item glitch that we can use, there is no enemy exploit, there is no black hole wizardry, there's nothing. Nintendo really did a great job. They clearly did everything to be absolutely sure that evil exploiters like us can't find a way to upload a truly 100% absolutely no way to ever beat it level in Super Mario Maker 2. They did everything but one thing. Because luckily for us, there is this one thing that they decided to patch globally that gives us a chance. There is this really, really weird exploit in 1.0 that honestly never should have slipped from Nintendo's testing. See, all characters in the game, namely Toad, Toadette, Mario and Ouija are exactly the same. They jump the same height, they use the same physics, they die the same way, they are the same, but there is one super tiny difference when wearing a fashionable fire flower outfit in the new Super Mario Bros. U style. The different characters shoot fireballs at just a slightly different height. The burning fire flower, fire power, power up fireballs just spawn a couple of pixels lower when playing as Toad or Toadette than they do when playing as a plumber. Twitter user Guy Ragnarok found a way to make use of this little difference in order to build a small device that only lets Toad or Toadette pass, but never Luigi or Mario. Here's how this works. The only way to escape this horrible trap is it by throwing a fireball at this little bob -omp. But sadly, throwing a fireball isn't possible because this stone-headed thwomp blocks all our igniting shots. 
at least it does if we play as plumber. But if we change over to mushroom, then our fireballs spawn just a couple of pixels lower and suddenly it is possible to ignite the bomb. If we now put a brick block at the end, then only Toad or Toadette are able to proceed, because only those two characters are able to make it out of the contraption with only taking one hit. That is in version 1.0, because in version 1.1 all characters throw fireballs at the exact same height level, the height of Mario. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the one change Nintendo decided to make globally, meaning that this also applies to levels that were made in 1.0. That's all we need. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have our difference between the upload and the play state of our stage. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have our exploit. This tiny glitch actually makes it possible to upload a truly 100% no way to ever beat it level in Super Mario Maker 2. So I immediately uploaded this design and asked around on Twitter if there is something that I missed just to be absolutely sure that we have a perfect unbeatable stage. And of course, I say beat the stage within an hour. But luckily, I say was only able to beat it because I made a super stupid mistake when building the stage. I forgot that it is possible to leave the door at exactly the frame the Bob Omp goes boom, which makes it possible to break the brick block by using the Bob Omp. So another factory reset later, I had this design online. Here we just added a couple of brick blocks and a clear condition to kill the Bob Omp. The reason why we had a clear condition, because enemies that are part of a clear condition do not respawn. And thus, the stage is suddenly absolutely 100% unbeatable. Hooray! Except that I say once again found another exploit. He managed to juggle the bomb towards the piranha plant, which killed said plant during the process and made it possible to survive the bob omp lotion without getting damaged. And therefore, the stage is beatable again. And that's, by the way, not the only exploit, because the stage is actually beatable in multiplayer without much effort. Whoops, time for another factory reset. So how do we de-cheese this? Well, luckily it's actually surprisingly simple. All that we have to do in order to fix the multiplayer bug is to add a couple of multiplayer detectors. Here, the blasters drop down if a single player enters the stage, but as soon as there is more than one player, they refuse to drop and make it impossible to enter the stage. The reason why this works is, the following. Progressive power-ups always spawn relative to the current power-up state of Mario. Meaning that if Mario is small, like he is at the beginning of the stage, they spawn as mushrooms. If there is more than one player in the stage, however, then progressive power-ups always spawn in their final form, as a fire flower in this case. Mushrooms move, while fire flowers are static, which gives us different outputs to use. The second exploit can easily be fixed by just removing the door and batting a couple of one-way doors, so that the Bob Omp can't get stolen anymore by filthy essays. Hooray! So the stage hasn't been beaten up until now. But there is still a chance that there is some form of cheese possible that makes it possible to beat the level. Though I'd say it's highly unlikely at this point. And even if there was, it is definitely possible to fix this design in such a way that it becomes uncheesable, since we found a difference between the play and the upload mode. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is actually possible to upload a truly impossible level in Super Mario Maker 2, thanks to the differences in fireball spawning height in 1.0 that got globally patched. I'm really glad Nintendo missed this tiny little thing, because they were really close to making it impossible to upload the impossible. So I leave the stage online for another couple of days so that each one of you is able to check whether I missed something, but I delete it afterwards since, well, since impossible levels really shouldn't stay online because of people that play Endless Mario Challenge, skipless. So is there any point to all of this? Well, um, surprisingly, yes. Thanks to factory resetting, we're suddenly able again to build and upload stages using the much, much better 1.0 physics. So I know that this is something that almost no one will ever do. But for those of you that put tons and tons of effort into their stages, really want to push the limits of the game or make stages for streamers to play that tens of thousands of people are going to see, the option is now at least here again. Also, in the name of all the Wiggler gods out there, Nintendo, please patch those features back in. Holy fuzzy. Anyway, huge thanks to everyone's favorite crow, Psycro, for helping me theorycrafting the whole thing, as well as to Ice for helping us to... Um... 
debug the first two designs. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe feel especially like re-downloading all of your Switch games today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope that all of you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye!